What the? Sorry, I was about to start recording, but someone's building a windmill in my backyard. Well, that's quite convenient. G'day, mates, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I've got a brand new fancy audio interface, so I'm going to sound a lot nicer and fancier. And today we are playing as the Netherlands, because I was sort of looking around and going, hmm, I got an idea. I got a big old idea. I do like how naive we are. We have yet to see a tank that can cross water. Ah, oh, yeah, the Germans thought that too. So my original plan for this run was to go down here, go to a Unity Through Democracy and then lead Minor Democracies in order to make a uh, another little faction and get all of those guys who die into my country as exiled divisions. That would mean I could then abuse that. However, I've just noticed if you go all the way down the end of this tree, instead of taking <laughs> exiled divisions from your dead allies, the Netherlands gets to take divisions from the Germans. While they're at war with them. Germans lose a thousand weekly manpower, and periodically we just get a 7-2 infantry artillery battalion with engineer recon and artillery support. The fifth captain of Colgin has once again, like its predecessors, fallen, and the Minister of State Dirk Jan de Geer has been asked to step up and take responsibility for forming a new government. My god, they've got as many governments as we've had prime ministers. Well, hey, our government isn't weak anymore, but our Prime Minister is a defeatist. Oh, you are not going to like what I'm planning to do. Wait, never mind, you're not even going to be around for that. Just placating both the Germans and the British so they can both hit 50, and then finally, I can, you know, not actually go with either of them. Yes, this is how Netherlands Focus 3 actually works. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit silly. I like how the first part of the game is the Dutch just involves spending a lot of political power. Oh, hang on, the Germans are pulling ahead, can't have that, gotta keep the numbers even. Everyone's fair around here. Everyone is equal. Wait, hang on. And the little Entente has been formed. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a silly game. Oh, is Britain going fascist? They are, aren't they? No, I'm honest, honestly surprised. They're, <laughs> I, I, I've seen them go fascist every game, so... Oh, hang on. Never mind. Never mind. God damn it. Okay, inundate the water lines is ready, so what that means is when it happens, it's 14 days, and then we get plus 50 defense, plus 20 entrenchment speed, they get minus 50% speed. Well, actually, everyone does. Uh, there's some damage to, like, the factories and stuff, but overall, that looks amazing. Okay. Also, with the Germans and Brits balanced out, that means we can finally maintain trade neutrality. Brilliant. It's time for Orange Boven, which I believe means Orange Cow. <laughs> Never mind, it means Orange Above, but it celebrates the Queen, so you might as well call it an Orange Cow. In before the monarchists get angry in the comments. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. You're the only man for me, baby. Famously said by Winston Churchill, once proud Queen Wilhelmina is the only man in the Dutch government. Did not realize Churchill partook in Japanese art. Quite a fan of that. <gasps> I didn't realize we got bicycle battalions. I'm so happy. What? What? <laughs> what? Hang on. What? It was Czechoslovakia that declared on Bulgaria... How did this happen? Because it's not like Hungary. I know they invade Hungary sometimes, they puppet them. I know they sometimes go to war with Austria. But... What? How? Uh, what occurred? Alright, Czechoslovakia, you need to stop this. What are you doing? You're just going on a rampage. What is happening? I was trying to, trying to be defensive here, and here's Czechoslovakia swinging its dick around. My god. Oh my god, Budapest fell in like a day. Oh, oh Hungary, no. Oh wait, then again, I think Hungary starts with like no army, don't they? Poor buggers. Well, that was quick. Jesus. And there goes the black shirts. Right, gotcha. Never mind, the German army arrived and took Prague literally overnight. Like, all of this fell in a day. Okay, alright. Well, that is over for them. Good job, Germans. You didn't die. And now the French are going to have to just hold the line until eventually Italy win enters the war and kills them. That has happened every game for me so far in the past, like... Actually, I haven't even played Man the Guns that much. I've played like six games, I think, and most of those have been recorded. All right, Luxembourg's in the French Entente Alliance. Italy's joined the German Reich. Croatia's joined the German Reich. Croatia has declared war on Yugoslavia. Germany, presumably, has also declared war on Yugoslavia, and Italy's entered the war. And the British Empire has begun their revolution. Oh my god. And the plot thickens! The Indians have joined the French Entente Alliance. The UK has been annexed, which means it's gone, but the Commonwealth of Nations is now around, 
which is separate, but they should still be at war? No? They've, they've peace. The, okay, the peace deal with the Germans. What the hell? Why? Why, game? Why do you do this to me? Bulgaria is strong. It is bulging quite heavily. Um, Croatia is also now around. Memel has fallen. It's just... Everything's going all oh, Germany. Oh, poor France. I'm trying to join their war so that I can actually get involved, but I, I just can't do anything right now. I'm still neutral because the bloody... I meant to join the British. I joined the British, not the French. And it's just not working. Bloody hell. I do question who's going to stop the Axis now, you know, if not for me, because... We've got Germany, the British Empire being fascist, and then it's just like the Commonwealth of Nations left, I guess. And maybe the Soviets, but I think the Soviets are going to get beat. Oh, no. <laughs> I know I'm playing a defensive war, but these are my infantry divisions, and I'm just so happy with them. And Nationalist Spain is in the Axis. Why? Why? Why is the Axis so just mega colossal? Oh, my God. Uh, someone's declaring war on me. Oh. Time to lose that neutrality. Unfortunately, we'll be losing Belgium as well, and Belgium was like a useful defensive part, so... Sorry, Belgium, but... Oh boy. They're guaranteeing my independence. I love you, Canada. All right, I'm in for this. And of course, let's inundate the water lines. Oh, I've been waiting to do this. Okay, 14 days and then she's ready. Oh, it's not flooded yet. We might not be able to hold this province. It's all right, we can probably retreat from this province, but I... Oh, okay. All right, retreating from this one it is then, all right. Yes, they're all flooded. Oh, man. Okay, so our defense should be ridiculous now. All right, it's pretty good. Oh, my God. Weather plus 50%. Yes. All right. Yeah, they're still running into us, and they're losing quite heavily. I wonder if they'll, if they'll keep doing this, because the whole idea is all my guys are equipped with, um, what do you call it, uh, with maintenance companies to steal gear with, so they should be able to start doing that. Nice. The queen steps in. There we go. We've got little Churchill involved. Oh, I, I see. He's quite like a very small Churchill, isn't he? Ah. I wish we had a Churchill this game. We've just got a really annoying, like, turtleneck-wearing twat instead. Oh, the only man in the Dutch government? <gasps> She's in! Okay, man, we are... This war is grueling and just a pain in the ass, but we are actually uh, going down the lines we're meant to. Soon, we can get the things we need. We just have to keep holding out. Uh, what? What? Oh, my fucking god, it was. Ah! So I'm just fucked. There is nothing I can do to stay, because I, I I can't leave the faction. All right, you know what? It's it's time for some fan dingling. All right. Why? Why is this the game? The Axis just wins by 1941 by invading Canada! Ah, and you're still bloody independent, you bastard. You're not helping anyone. Oh, my god. The Soviets haven't done shit. They're going to war with Poland, even. Oh, my God. Why is it not possible just to play a democracy in Europe, you know? It, that's what everyone asked in 1940. <laughs> Finally. Oh, my God. Right, let's see how this focus works. German defectors, come on. We're going to reinstate the Kaiser. Oh, here we go. Wow, we finally got a division. Okay, when did we do that last focus? Hang on. I think it was about 20, maybe 30 minutes between the defectors forming a division and... That's one division, by the way. And us actually finishing the focus. Yeah, um, you know what? Not as good as Exiles, you know? Not as good. Where, where is the division? What? Are you kidding me? Did we just... Did it just not spawn? I have the template, I just don't have the division. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. All right. You know what? You know. Yeah, okay. You know. All right. Just. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fuck it. I said I wasn't gonna do it, but here we go. We're going for the bloody exiles path. Let's do it. Mmm. Speed run time. And by speed run time, I mean I'm not actually gonna be doing anything. I'm just gonna be eating hummus whilst the time runs. Um. Oh my God! Look, the Brits aren't going fascist. It's America. I wait. I realized. I realized it sounds like. That was on purpose, like I used the game rules to do that, and I should have used the game rules to do that, but I was too angry and just started the game. A smarter man would have used the game rules, but I, I just trusted God, clearly. Now let me play Sympathy for the Devil again. Much better. Much, much better. My god, it's been made. The European Union. Nice. Ireland? Ireland's in? Denmark, Norway, Switzerland, Sweden. Ah, this is brilliant. Czechoslovakia's in as well. Now we do the part two. 
The best defense is a good offense. No, they're about to get the Anschluss. If only we'd gotten them just before the Anschluss, it would have been way better. They'd be like 20 divisions worse off, but I think we've still got this. Look at this beautiful faction. We can do a lot with this, and it's just formed so quickly, and we're already going to war. I love it. Why did I not go democracy? All right, so Germany's about to do Danziger War. We're going to declare war immediately. Calling everyone in. Good. Uh, we should all be on mostly on the front line. Looks good. We'll start sending some guys forward. And what we'll do, hopefully, is get them stuck in a war and sending their troops over to this front. And then they have to declare war on, on uh, Poland because Poland's going to refuse. And then Poland should be able to sweep in and just have their make their day really quite bad. You know, you know, I'm just... God, Czechoslovakia, why? You democracy, join the war. Bastard. All right, there we go. Poland's in. There we go. Now, come on. You've got to join the war now, guys. Come on. Poland's in. Don't you want to follow Poland's example? No. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Oh, you want to join Poland's war, but not my war. Thanks, guys. Hey, Berlin has fallen. Denmark is sort of half fallen, but you know what? It's fine. The Swedes are apparently defending it. Good job. I'm not really advancing because there are a fair few Germans on my border, but Poland's doing all right, and Czechoslovakia has half fallen. I'm not liking this. This is quite silly. Come on, Czechoslovakia. You could have joined the war in the first place. You would have had way more success. <laughs> the local population opposes senseless flooding. Yeah, because there's actually no one invading Netherlands anymore, like in the country anymore, the public don't like the fact they've just left it flooded. Yeah, okay, let's drain this swamp. Hey, there we go. The Germans have capitulated. We're going to leave it there because I am done with this game. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hearts of Iron 4 is still Hearts of Iron 4. I regret playing more of it. I will probably do one mod I've been thinking of and then that may be it. Unless anything really more interesting comes out or or there's anything more interesting I want to do because I'm, I'm just really done with this game. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the new mic, and uh, I'll see you next time. Farewell.